Hi folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we're at the Twin Cities Auto Show today. And behind us are these beautiful GT40s. The only place in America where there are all three of these from the different generations being brought together. And they're here at the Twin Cities Auto Show. You need to come out, you cannot miss these. What do you think, Nathan? Uh, these are fantastic. You have to gotta come. Make this a stopping point when you get here. You gotta see them. Hello, my name is Mary Valine. I am the show director of the Twin Cities Auto Show. This year, we are thrilled and honored to be able to host three Ford GTs. These are not your average Mustang GTs. These are the real GTs that race in the Le Mans. They are street legal vehicles. Um, that's the Le Mans race. So we are the only show in the country and in the world to host all three of them. There is a limited run so far out there of the 2018, so we are 100% confident that we have the only three because there's only one owner that owns all of them. His name is Daryl Myers, he's from North Dakota, and he has graciously shared those with us. So I'll tell you a little bit about them. Um, behind me, we'll start with the 1968 GT40. Um, this is a fun story. If you don't know it, it's worth looking it up. Um, Henry Ford, back in the second, back in the 60s, said, I want to get into racing. So he thought he would talk with Mr. Ferrari, who was a very good uh, builder of race cars, of course. And uh, they almost sold Ferrari to Ford. They got very close to it, got months into negotiations, and at the last minute, uh, Mr. Ferrari pulled out. So that did not please Henry Ford II, so he uh, decided to beat Henry Ford, I'm sorry, beat Mr. Ferrari. So he uh, built a car, and that's what we have right here. It's called the GT40. Um, not only did he build this beauty, but he took it to the Le Mans, which is a race that takes place overseas. It's, a, it's an interesting race. It's 24 hours of racing. It's street legal vehicles. Um, so it's a hard race, and Ferrari had owned that race for many years, and uh, when Henry Ford came out there, first year ever out there in 1968, he took not only first place, but he took first, second, and third with his three GTs that he had put in there. So, to celebrate 100 years of Ford Motor Company, Ford in 2006 said, let's create another model. So here we have the 2006. Ford GT. This one they did make a little bit more. They made about 4,000 of them and they raced a little bit in the country, um, but that's the GT40. So now 50 years have passed since the Le Mans race and Ford decided to get back into the Le Mans, but they didn't tell anybody. So in the depths of Ford Motor Company, and I'm not kidding you, it was underground and around corners and nobody knew where it was. There was a handful of people, including engineers, they brought in Don Shelby to help out with this and leaders, but there was literally under 10 people knew that this car was being built. And today with all of our cell phones, that's quite amazing that they got away with it. But they created the 2018 Ford GT and it is an unbelievable vehicle. If you don't know much, look up the stats, look up the story. It's carbon fiber, it's titanium lug nuts. It is an amazing vehicle. So Mr. Ford said, I've got this amazing car, and so what does he do? He goes back to the Le Mans, where again, Ferrari owned it. Six, you know, it's been 50 years now, and Ferrari was back on top. Ford walks back into their game, and they took first and second place in, 19, in 2018. It's an amazing race, look it up, it's a lot of fun, and these are amazing vehicles. So proud and thankful to Daryl Myers uh, for sharing them with us, and we're glad that you guys are here to enjoy them with us.